Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messi Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. Welcome to another episode where I play free mode. So the date is a few days ago, and I load into a really peaceful GTA Online session. So yeah, as you can see already, this session is friendly. Now as always, I check out the playlist, and I'll go down to him. He doesn't actually seem that suspicious. But, um, you know, I was a bit bored, so I decided to check him out anyway. Now if you're wondering what I'll count suspicious, usually high KD, that's a good sign. High mental state, that means they're killing a lot of people. Um, outfit can sometimes tell what kind of player they are, but at the moment, it's like, the outfit's not really that big of a thing anymore. Because you get loads of people dressing up as triads. And then of course, you've got what vehicle they're in and what they're doing at the moment, except they're going around killing people. Then that is also a good sign that they are a suspicious player. But anyways, I'll go kill this guy. As you can see. <laughs> but when I fly back over again, he teleports away. So about 10 minutes later, he's out of his facility. And while I wait for him to figure out what he's going to do, I'll just do some casual roof sniping. So if you pay close attention to the minimap, he's actually flying over in a jet and I try and go to the construction site because it means that I can't get dive bomb from above and this is what happens. Now funnily enough, he actually just flies away like he doesn't even like try to come back and kill me. Until he does. Now I'm not really sure what he's trying to do but it looks like he was just flying around trying to like test the water, try and make it look like he's not actually trying to kill me. Just trying to see where I am. Because he doesn't actually like strafe, he just circles me. It's really weird. After a while, I think he just gets fed up, so he, he tries and misses because I'm pretty much unkillable here. But then he flies away. Aww. But then after I've been flying around for a while, he comes back and tries to kill me. Now, because I don't want to give him the satisfaction of killing me, I don't let him. And then he flies away again. Until he comes back again. What? No way. Fortunately for me, he gets taken out of his jet by a guy named Deluxo. And then I decide to use my insane buzzard skills to try and kill him. Happy. But now we're both on ground. And sorry if you get triggered by the way that I used a rocket then. But, um, sorry, not sorry. In case you guys wondered, these guys were going around in the Avenger and they looked so killing random people, so I thought I'd kill them too. So I kill those guys enough times and then Dennis gets another jet and I start shooting at it and because I've got BST it starts smoking really quickly. I mean look at that. And then he just dips, like straight up just flies away. Now because he crashed without jumping out and I was the last person to do damage to his jet, uh, I managed to get the kill for it. So that's nice. So he gets another jet. So I decide to get my own and take him out myself. So yeah, this guy is sitting in the facility, and it literally takes him um, about 20 minutes for him to come back out. And this is what happens when he comes back out. Yep, that's right, he teleports away to his facility again. And because I'm pretty annoyed at this point, I just decided to send him a nice message. Now you see, this is probably the worst features in this game, it's hard to teleport in. It's honestly so annoying, like, you can just teleport, they click for button, 
to go all the way across the map just to get yourself out of danger. It's like the most stupid thing ever. Then anyway, I start a fight with those other guys again. Another thing that's stupid in this game is if you destroy the Avenger and someone's in the turret thing, it doesn't count as a kill. Like, I don't know, let me know down below if you think that should be a kill. I mean, like, there's probably people like Gilly Master might think, oh, maybe you should, it's good because you can survive water cannons, but like, it's so not, you can, it's literally like god mode. But that's a story for another day. A random guy in an oppressor map 2 flies over. They fly too close, so I kill them easily. Kill them again. And then they go ghosted, and then they leave. But then, later on, I'm killing these guys a little bit more because they still keep trying to kill me. But they won't just leave. But uh, this guy comes back in a savage. Now, I don't like savages because they're like pretty overpowered. But fortunately for me, he gets taken out by these guys on the ground. Now, those two other guys that I was fighting that suck, they leave, and now it's just me and Dennis on the ground. Now, you may be noticing I'm in auto aim right now. And you might be like, what auto aim requires no skill? Why are you in auto aim? It's like, Dude, like, the main thing I do is sniping anyway, sniping's in free aim. Now, it's mainly because you can probably get better lobbies in auto aim. Well, that's from my experience anyway. Free aim, like, it's a little bit more peaceful at the moment. So, yeah, it's not much really to do with how hard it is. After I've killed this guy loads of times, you can see in the kill feed, someone goes ghost. Now, at first, the guy that went ghost and the guy that I'm killing, they don't seem like friends, not in the same crew. But I'm weary, because maybe this guy's called for backup. And that's exactly what he did. See this guy dive bombing me with a jet. Now these guys went off to get an adventure, which I've already said that I absolutely hate because it's just like it's literally god mode. But um, I just had to get a jet, and you can see I go passive before getting a jet. This means that I've got about 30 seconds for when I get into a jet to get out in the sky and get ready to kill them. Unfortunately, I tried to use a speed glitch to try and get away, but it didn't work. Now because the adventure is basically god mode. I jumped teleported away, or tried to, that didn't work, but when I came back they're in a hunter. Unfortunately for one of these guys, it looked like being on the ground with me was too much to handle, and he straight up just left. Now when it comes to the other guy... I managed to kill him two extra times, and then he leaves as well. Unfortunately, this is the end of the video, but if you enjoyed it, you can drop a like, but if you didn't, you can let me know why in the comments down below, and uh, I'll try and make my videos better. <laughs> Bye.